Hi guys, um, it's Dairy Manager here, Martin Walters. Um, speaking to the press for a uh, big game this week for the club um, against Hamilton. Um, huge, um, first v second. Um, first of all, I want to kind of put my five pence in about the uh, active and an active gate that's been going on in the uh, the manager merry-go-round round that we've seen. Um, my take on it basically, I'm, I'm like Carvis Carvajal, so I like analogies, football analogies. And I, I would compare it to, for example, if I have a retail store, and when you first go to the retail store, uh, you want to work in the stock room, and you don't want to be on the shop floor speaking to customers, which is fine. Um, but then, obviously, it happens in all football, in anything, and there's a change, um, a, management, a management change, and, and now they want me to go on the shop floor. Um, I'm not going to say no, and, and if I do, then I'll essentially leave that retail store. I mean, there's other retail stores. There's loads of retail stores that'll let you just sit in the stock room. And if that's what you like, it's fine. That's not a problem. But in this particular retail store, we want managers to be on the shop floor, speaking to customers. Um, and I think that's what it's about. Um, you know, also like, you know, posting on the news feed videos and, and stuff like that. If, if you go downstairs to the shop floor and you speak to customers every day, they're going to come back regularly. And they'll come back every day. Same as like posting. So, my analogy would be, yeah, you know, this isn't a stockroom game world. This is a game world where you need to be on the shop floor and you need to be about. Uh, there are a tons of other stockroom ones. You know, I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just your type of thing. Um, and now on to the more important news. Um, yeah, Derry versus Hamilton this week. Um, I think I've won my last three games. Uh, so I'm going good at the moment. Um, since I haven't been Derry too long, but I took over from Brian Reed and... I think I've carried on the attacking style, which isn't. So I don't like playing attacking really. I'm, I'm more defensive, keep the ball, but I've adapted to the team, and, and so far I think I'm doing a really good job and find myself in second. Uh, Hamilton and ourselves, we're both attacking teams. Um, as you can see, they've got three players that have scored over 10 goals this season, so they're a real threat. It's going to be a really good game. I, I can't see it being a nil nil. Um, you know, it, 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 well, it can't be. It's, it's going to be a. You know, attacking game. We're not going to cancel each other out. I think we're both going to go attack. Ahmed's got a great team there, and you know they they're very attacking. They're winning three and four nils each week as well. So that'll be really interesting. My main worry is I've I've lost two so far as Derry manager, and they were to Glenavon and Livingston. Uh, they were the teams around me. I think they still are around me to be honest. And like Mourinho, really, I'm, I'm, in the big games, I'm not. I mean, I have beat other teams around me, but they, they were the ones that did really hurt. And, like, going into this game, it, it could be, again, the same with Hamilton. I could, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, if if I don't win, or at least draw, I think they, they'll have, like, a five-point gap at top. Uh, and, again, I'll just be another Walters brother then sitting in second. Um, nobody wants that, really, do they? Um, I mean, I, I, the teams below me probably could catch me. I'm not saying they won't, but... Um, yeah, so it's going to be such a big game. I think, obviously, the write-ups they do and, and the match of the week, I'm pretty sure that it'll, it'll be on there. Um, if I was to predict it now, I obviously would want to win. I'd say the team are going to take it at 3-2 with a high score in. And I'm not saying our defenders are bad. I'm just saying our attackers are progressively much better. Um, but, yeah, um, for myself, if we... If we don't win, I think for me then it shows the playoffs is probably where I'll be. <laughs> Obviously losing the teams around me isn't great going in you know, playoffs. I'm I'm hoping at the bare minimum I can now achieve a playoff spot. Um but if I if I can beat Hamilton, oh, I could be looking at that top two automatic, maybe top. Um obviously a worry go if, you know, did get promotion. I've, I've stated this previously as well. And in other game worlds, I, I love projects. I bring in youth, and my dairy team are old. I am got the funds at the moment to to kind of bring a youth, and I'm not prepared. I can't cut take people from my eleven, my top eleven. So I'm trying bringing one or two youngsters before the end of the season, possibly. But next season, if I do go up, it's going to be huge because I'm I'm going to be cutting back on ratings and bringing youngsters in. Um, making dairy a bit of a project so to be in trying to stay in division three is well that that's obviously might not even get promoted so that's stupid really thinking about that i mean so far i've been one of those managers that only goes on a game by game scenario so we win this game see the next one not really look at the league table massively 
But I'm not going to lie, I look at the league table all the time now. Because I'm up there, I'm, I'm second, I'm, I'm looking at it, looking at how teams are doing. I mean, I'm not taking it game by game. I'm, I've looked at my running, I've got a horrible running. You've got like Falk, I know Noisy's not there now, but I think Richie's there and Falkirk got a great team. I've got Falkirk, I've got Burton, um, I think I've got Wrexham coming up with Pablo, he's, he's kind of changed them. So it, it's, it's going to be a huge end of the season for me. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can secure a promotion uh a, play a playoff spot, but if not automatic, but I think tomorrow, uh, Thursday's game, sorry, that'll be very telling. Uh, thanks for your time, guys, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all on the shop floor.